my friend and meteorologist extraordinaire, Rodney Harris. Uh, Rodney. I wish I had better news. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yesterday those storms yeah. or something took out power, they did. you know, caused quite a bit of damage. And we just spent like five minutes, ten minutes all talking about it because right. we were all impacted just like you were. Because here's <laughs> the good news, even though we have rain moving into metro Atlanta right now, it's not nearly as strong as what we were seeing yesterday. In fact, it's weakening. But I do want to note it is moving in. So if you have to get to work super early, you will see some rain over the next hour or two in metro Atlanta. Let's get right to first radar here. Some rain is currently impacting you in Gordon County. If you're in Calhoun, the worst of it is over. Just some light showers for a little while, but the storms have ended for you. As we get closer to Jasper, some good rain is falling for you. Bartow County, that rain is basically covering most of I-75, including Cartersville. If you are in Cherokee County this morning, Canton, that rain is headed your way. Holly Springs, it's moving southeast at about 30 miles per hour. That's headed your way. So Cherokee County, if you have to get to work over the next 30 minutes to an hour, you will have to drive to work in the rain. No storms, but rain certainly impacting you. And as we slide further east, rain in Hall County. This is moving south and east and about to hit Banks County. So Banks County heads up to you. Also, for those of you in uh, Habersham County, the south side of Habersham County, you're getting rain. We did have some rain, Gavir, in Lumpkin County around Delonica. That rain is starting to end for you. So let's zoom back out here on First Alert Radar. This is all moving south and east. So yes, if you are in Cobb County, if you are in Fulton County, that rain will eventually make it in. Here's the thing though, Gavir, uh, the rain will basically be coming to an end as we get closer to seven o'clock this morning. So by the time most of you get to work this morning, the rain will basically be over. So that's why today is not a first alert weather day, because even though it's raining right now by 7 a.m., a lot of this stuff will dissipate. So you'll see that on our high resolution forecast model. Here's the rain that's impacting us now, Gavir. Notice what happens between right now and seven o'clock. It almost all dissipates. Now we do have some spotty showers around at 7 o'clock as you're driving to work, as you're getting some of the kids back to school, but it's just not going to be that much. So even though it's raining now, it won't be that much within two hours. And then as we continue throughout the course of the morning, we have these little systems that are dropping in from the north. So there will be the potential, especially in the mountains, for some isolated showers this morning. And then it won't be until later on this evening where there will be more redevelopment of showers and storms. We believe today that this will be mainly along and south of I-20 later on this evening. There's not much on this map, but just just like yesterday, Gavir, if you are under a storm this evening, rain, lightning, gusty winds will still be possible. Not impossible to see some more severe thunderstorm warnings later on today. Not because there's going to be a lot of rain, but because whatever storm develops will have the potential of being strong. 92 is your high today. We are also under another heat advisory. It does not include the city of Atlanta, but it does include Henry County, Rockdale County, Newton County, Spalding County, and basically everybody south and east of there. Your heat index 105 plus later on today. And that will be the trend for the rest of the week. 50% coverage of rain. That's really right now. Give you that rain coverage will go down this afternoon with the high of 92 degrees. Only a 20 to 30% chance of rain on Thursday and Friday as most of the kids get back to school. But highs will be in the mid 90s. Heat index temperatures will be above 100 degrees. So it will be very hot as we get most of the kiddos back to school. And after today, the next best chance of rain will come on Saturday. Here is first.